Well, today is the first day on the job for two rookies appointed to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's cabinet. And with just nine months now until the federal election, it's going to be a busy time for them. Joining us this morning is political feature writer at The Globe and Mail, Adam Redwansi. Good to have you back with Good us. Morning. All right, so we get to talk about the aftermath of the yes. announcement yesterday. Uh, the first, let's talk about one of those new faces, uh, Quebec's David Lametti. He is now the Minister of Justice, the Attorney General, taking over from Jody Wilson-Raybould. Lots of digging into this. Is this a demotion for uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould? And who was David Lametti before he is now the Attorney General? He's not well known nationally. I mean, he does seem qualified for it. I mean, he's a law professor, seems to be a well regarded lawyer mm -hmm. uh, from Montreal. Uh, but you're right. I mean, there is the sense that it was a demotion, and the government's pushing back really hard against that, uh, you know, arguing that, that putting Jody Wilson Raybould into, uh, into Veterans Affairs. Uh, is, is putting her somewhere where she has, uh, you know, uh, more to do before the election than she would at, at, at justice. Um, I don't know if most people are buying that. I don't know if she's buying that. I mean, her, her reaction immediately well, after was not... you even compare the body language from mm -hmm. yesterday to the first time when she was sworn in? You know, she had her hands on Justin Trudeau's face. There was this warm embrace. Yesterday was icy. It was, and she put out a statement that uh, was quite unusual for a minister who's just been moved. I mean, usually, there's a thing, even if you have been demoted in, in government, where um, you know, prime ministers usually expect ministers who've been moved to sort of put their heads down and get to work and, and not complain and work their way back to where they want to be, even if she was demoted. Um, she put out a statement that was quite defensive about her time um, at justice and sort of hinted at speaking truth to power and a bunch of stuff that was quite unusual. I don't know if we should be bothered by that. I mean, people should speak in their own voices, but it was unusual. Uh, you know, you could also look at it as uh, the Veterans Affairs uh, portfolio mm -hmm. has really been messed up, especially in particular in this last year, and they need someone capable to go in and clean it up. That's absolutely true. I mean, what's interesting is the person who was there, Seamus O'Regan, was then moved to Indigenous Services, uh, which is at least as challenging. Uh, and there's a lot of potential for Bruce feelings there, too, particularly because the minister who was moved from there, Jane Philpot, uh, was really well regarded. I mean, she's mm -hmm. been promoted, uh, but I think there's a lot of concern in that community or in those communities about what that means, too. The second new face we saw yesterday was Bernadette Jordan. She is now the Minister of Rural Economic Development. This is a new portfolio for the Liberals. So why would Trudeau decide to put a focus on rural affairs? What's the Well, for the Liberal Party, that's always a vulnerability. Uh, they're very strong in cities mm -hmm. um, and in, in denser populated areas. Uh, they're less so in rural areas, but they need to win a bunch of those seats. And I think there is a sense, look, I mean, it, they could also defend it on a policy basis. Um, you know, there's a sense of, of a lot of communities in Canada struggling, as elsewhere, um, to adapt to the changing economy and putting somebody in charge of doing that, in theory, is good. What that actually involves, there's a lot of ministers in this government who sort of ostensibly have, have roles that overlap, and it's hard to tell what they actually do. Uh, it'll be interesting whether she has real weight with that or she just kind of goes around to smaller towns talking about it. Uh, I wanted to take a focus on Indigenous services. So this is where uh, Seamus O'Regan mm -hmm. has been moved to. Uh, a lot of pushback from the community. This mm -hmm. is a minister who is new. They've made some real ground. We've seen some real changes from this portfolio. Uh, and there were a lot of missteps with him in veterans' mm -hmm. uh, affairs. This is, a, this is a precarious time for the Indigenous community, for Canada, and you need somebody who can step well there. Is this a good move? Well, I think it's a dangerous move because I think there was that sense that Jane Philpott, who was there, was doing... Um, a really good job, particularly on stuff like clean water on, on reserves. And reforming um, the foster care system. That's right. Throw in as well that the justice minister, um, who the former justice minister, who, who is Indigenous, and it made a real priority of repairing relationships with um, Indigenous communities and of, of, of improving uh, their legal status. Uh, that combination, I think, has people really worried. And I think there is a concern that, look, I mean, it's never going to be the most senior ministry. But there's a sense that, well, it's a stepping stone, you know, for, for sort of lower ministers to get to something better. So you had one person who performed well and has immediately moved somewhere more senior. Now somebody who struggled elsewhere and it's like, okay, now you're going to go in there. The government is selling it as he'll be able to kind of go in and help communicate and move along things that she's already put in place. Um, that is yet to be seen. It's a hard ministry, and he's going to have to do a lot better there than he did at Veterans Affairs. Adam, good to have you here. Thanks so much. Thank you.